Mina, Kone Bonwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. First off, I've got to say I'm sorry I didn't get the Sunday message out on time or the Saturday message, the, the smaller one, out on time. Uh, I've been flubbing it up quite a bit recently. Um, I can't think of any reason in particular other than I'm irresponsible and undisciplined. So that's about as bluntly honest as I can be. Coming at you with 2 Chronicles chapter 12, the 30-minute message, the follow-up to the um, Donald Trump sermon. It will come out, this is Monday morning, or Monday, late Monday morning, late Sunday night, whatever. Middle of the night for me, and early morning for you guys, or whenever you guys happen to see this. It will become, this Donald Trump message will be coming out later on today. That is the goal. Once I get off of work, that should be done done. So I'm going to put out two smaller messages here to make up for Saturday and Sunday. And let's get into this. Again, Second Chronicles chapter 12. And we're going to go with verse 14 and just verse 14. By all means, read the context if you wish. The context definitely does give, shed a little bit more light on the personal circumstances of King Rehoboam that this verse is talking about. In verse 14, it simply says, and he did evil because he did not prepare his heart to seek the Lord. We're born sinners, right? We're born goof-ups, we're born mistakes, uh, we're born doing things wrong, doing things biblically defined as evil. And the Lord does forgive that, and he gives us the grace to overcome that, but if we aren't consciously seeking after him, consciously trying to live for him, our natural nature, our natural instincts will take over, come in and the flesh will dominate over the spirit because that is that's our default as human beings we're born into sin um, and until we die that sin nature is going to stay with us so we have to actively prepare our hearts to follow the lord if we do not we're going to end up doing evil because unfortunately that's what comes natural to us so make sure when you kind of like uh <laughs> I kind of want to say, kind of like this YouTube channel, I didn't properly prepare myself. I was undisciplined. I was irresponsible, and the videos didn't get out on time. And we're not, when we're not preparing ourselves to follow the Lord, when we're not actively doing the things we should be doing, things get overlooked, things that, you know, shouldn't be done, are done. I didn't necessarily do anything horribly wrong or evil while I was away from YouTube. I simply did things you know, play games that weren't record-worthy, weren't a part of a series I'm currently doing, you know, grinding or farming or something in one game or another. And so I can't put that on YouTube because that'd be incredibly boring. So it ended up being stuff that was pointless, that was fruitless. And the videos didn't get out on time. And there was stuff other than video games, but that was definitely part of the reason. So... Yeah, unfortunately, I'll have to say, under these circumstances, do not follow my example. Actively pursue the Lord. Actively prepare your heart to seek Him, to do His will and His good pleasure. And don't just live for yourself. Um, at the least, you'll end up wasting time. And at the most, you'll end up in some valley, in some sin that you really don't want to wind up being in. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.